What's up guys, it's Dave Jones here and today's tutorial is a suggestion from username Victor Hood and he asked for a tutorial about the new Photoshop CS5 feature, the Puppet Warp. Puppet Warp is not a simple tool and we need to adjust our picture in order to use the Puppet Warp properly. First, we need to exclude the image we want to use the Puppet Warp by selecting and pressing Ctrl J because Puppet Warp works better when the image is on a transparent background. I already did this with my image and it's on a different layer now. After that we have to take the elephant of the original layer off and we are going to do that by using the content aware view. You see that the, the elephant is already on this layer on a transparent background and we need to take off this elephant from the, the original layer. So select the layer and use the content aware here. To use the content aware is really simple. You just select the image anywhere you want. I'm using the lasso tool. And uh, after selecting it, you can select any way you like. And it's a poor selection, but you work fine. You select it, press the right button on the mouse, fill, content aware, okay. Let's wait for Photoshop to think. Okay, it did it just fine. If I take off, it's perfect. You don't even notice there was something here before. So now to use the Puppet Warp, we are going to uh, select the layer that our image is on, edit, Puppet Warp. You see that our, our image, our elephant, is all taken by these, these lines and stuff. And we see here that's the line of the, the Puppet Warp. You see the mode, it's the how we are going to move the image, how I'm going to warp the image, normal, rigid or destroy. I'm going to use normal. The density is the density of the, the, the number of points that are on the image. To do a more detailed warping, you can use fewer points, you can put more points, I'm going to use normal. And expansion, it's how, how many the reach of the puppet warp okay i'm going to put one two three four one okay and now you see that our mouse arrow is changing to a pin and this pin is going to mark what we want to change i want to warp the nose of the the elephant you see if i put only a pin here let's see what happens when i move it you see all the elephant move because that's only this this pin here. We need to put more pins in order to fix the image on one place. Now I'm going to move the nose again. You see? Only the mo nose moved and I can do whatever I want with it. Change it up. Okay, let's see how it goes. Apply the puppet warp and you see that the nose changed place. It's a very nice tool. You can use to a lot of different situations uh, it's not so easy to use but it works really great i want to thank, thank again victor hood for the suggestion and if you have any suggestion for a tutorial please leave on the channel or send me a message i'll do whatever you want me and thanks for watching please subscribe if you like it bye yo ho yo ho a pirate's life for me we pillage we plunder we rifle and loot drink up me hearties yo ho we kidnap and ravage and don't